Make your way to your yoga mat. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Extend your legs long, extend your arms long. Place your hands at heart center and select an intention for today's yoga sequence. A word, a phrase, whatever, it doesn't matter. Step your feet to the wide edge of the mat. Place your arms in the goalpost position. Lower your knees to the right, take your gaze to the left. Lower your knees to your left, take your gaze to the right. Windshield wipe out your hips just a few times. A little bit of movement before stillness. Next time your knees lower down towards your right, pick up your right foot and place it just above your left knee. Feel a stretch in your left hip. Notice that your gaze is towards your left. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Release your foot, turn your knees towards the left, pick up your left foot and place it just above your right knee. Turn your gaze towards your right. Close your eyes and breathe in and out. Release the bind of the foot and if you're using a yoga strap today, go ahead and grab it. Take your yoga strap and place it around the ball of the right foot. Inhale, lift the foot up. Exhale, lower down. Lift and lower a few times at your own breath's pace. Draw your low belly in and up. Squeeze your core muscles. Draw your chin down and back. On your next breath, Inhale, extend the foot towards the ceiling and find stillness. Notice that you have a generous bend in your right knee. And if you want a little bit more, extend your left leg long and flex your left ankle. But if that's a little bit too much, place a bend in your left foot and plant it down towards the ground. Release the yoga strap and lower your foot down. Shake out your feet from left to right a few times. Inhale and exhale. On your next breath, draw your right knee in towards your right chest and turn it over towards your left. Extend your right arm in the T position. Take your gaze to the right. Feel the twist in your lower body. If your neck is straining, take your gaze to the left. Close your eyes and focus on this stretch. Release the pose, extend your legs long, and set up for the opposite side. Take your yoga strap and place it around the ball of the left foot. Lift and lower the left foot a couple of times. Movement before stillness. Extend your right leg long, flex your right ankle. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Go at your own breath's pace. No need to rush. The rush of life will be waiting for you after your yoga class. On your next breath, pause. Keep a generous bend in your left knee. 
and know that you're only here for a little bit longer. Last moment, lower your foot down, remove your yoga strap, and shake out your feet from left to right a couple of times. Draw your left knee into your chest and turn over to the opposite side. Place your left arm in the T position and take your gaze either to your left or right, whatever feels most comfortable in your body, and feel the stretch and twist in the lower half of your body. Close your eyes and come back to the words of your intention. Repeat them to yourself softly. Bring your awareness back to the space. Take a full body stretch, lift your arms up overhead, point and flex the toes a few times and just gently shake out. And the easiest way for you, come to a seated position. And if you're using props today, go ahead and grab it at that time. But know that it's props are always optional. Gently Press all four corners of the feet into one another and lower the knees down. Relax the head down and place your arms in the T position. Flip your palms up to face the ceiling. Close your eyes and feel the stretch in your hips. Now, if you don't have the yoga prop, it's going to be a little bit more of an intense stretch, but that's okay. You're making time to focus on your hips today. Thank you. 
If your mind has begun to wander outside of this room, I invite you to bring it back to this space. Lower your arms down, bring your knees together, and come to a seated position. Roll your prop out of the way, and the easiest way for you, press, come to hands and knees. Inhale, arch the back, exhale, lower the belly. Create a little bit of space in your spine. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. No need to rush and flail through this, just go slowly, be easy with your yourself. Press your big toes together, separate your knees to the wide edge of the mat, walk your hands forward, and on your next breath, walk your hands toward the right edge of the mat and press your left shoulder a little bit closer down towards the mat and feel the stretch all along the left side of your body. Close your eyes and breathe. Return to center and then walk your hands towards the left edge of your mat. Feel the stretch on the right side of your body. Close your eyes, soften the muscles in your face and focus on the present moment. Remember, all you have is right here and right now. So make the most of it. On your next breath, gently guide your hands back towards center, place a bend in your elbows, and firmly press the palms into one another. So it's a prayer-like position behind your head. And walk your elbows just a little bit further so you can feel that stretch in your upper back. Draw your low belly in and up and breathe. Drag your hands down near your underarms, come to hands and knees. Take just a moment to reset up for the posture to come. Step your right foot forward and hip hinge forward. Clasp on to your left foot with your left hand. Now try to come a little bit forward off the knee so you're not putting all of your pressure onto the knee, but you're coming forward. You're only going to be here for a few moments. So come back to the words of your intention. There's no wrong words to select because these words are important to you and you alone. Release your foot, slowly lower it down towards the ground, step your right foot back and then step your left foot forward, hip hinge a little bit forward Take your right hand and clasp onto that right foot and come a little bit more forward. If you're directly down on your kneecap, just try to envision yourself coming a little bit more forward. Know that you're not here for long, and if you're experiencing a lot of discomfort, 
Keep a towel handy nearby and place a cushion under that knee. Remember, this is your yoga practice, so you should feel good in your body. Release the foot down. Come to sit on your mat. Separate your feet wide apart. And if you're using a prop today, grab it at this time. Sit up tall. Draw your low belly in and up. And then hip hinge forward. Now, if you can only go a few inches without rounding your back, that's fine. I don't want you to have a hunchback. We, we crunch over all day long at our desk while we're in the car on our phones i don't want you crunching over during your yoga practice i want a lengthened out spine so close your eyes focus on being in this room and doing your yoga practice and breathe If your mind has begun to wander out of this space, gently guide it back, remove the prop, sit up tall, bring your legs together and gently rock your feet from side to side a few times. Breathe in and out. Return to hands and knees. Step the left leg forward and thread it through into your pigeon pose. Now, I have a really tight left hip, so I'm going to set my hip onto my bolster and come up really high so I'm supported and not overstretching myself. You may be laying down on the floor with your forehead on the floor, and that's where you're meant to be. So don't judge yourself for where you're at. You are exactly where you need to be. Now set up and stretch out your hip in pigeon pose. Curl your right toe under, drag your hands towards your underarms, and press yourself up out of this pose. Move the prop to the other side. You can use your bolster, your blocks, whatever you want, or no prop. Extend 
your right leg long and thread it through your left. So set up how you need, hip hinge forward, come down to the ground and feel this deep stretch in your hips. Close your eyes, soften the muscles in your face, relax and focus on the stretch at hand. Curl the left toe under, step the right foot back, and move your yoga props out of the way. No need to rush, we'll all get into the next pose when we're ready. Make your way onto your back, separate your knees, and take your hands and clasp onto the outer edge of your feet. Draw your knees towards your underarms. Happy baby stretch. Close your eyes, draw your chin down and back, and breathe. See if you can go just a little bit deeper. I don't want you to experience discomfort, but I do want you to find your edge. Release your feet, draw your knees into your chest, and gently rock back from left to right a few times. Massage out your lower spine. Close your eyes, breathe in, and breathe out. Notice how your hips feel now compared to the beginning of today's yoga sequence. I hope you feel just a little bit better. Take a final full body stretch Point and flex your toes. Extend your arms up overhead. Turn your gaze to the right. Turn your gaze to the left. Just a few times. Make a little bit of space in your body. During life, we're, we're rushing around from pose to pose. Go here, go there, pick up this, drop off that, collect somebody. It's important for you to make time for you. So come to a comfortable seated position. Draw your hands to heart center. Close your eyes and always commend yourself for making time for you. Let me know what kind of yoga video you'd like to see. I'd love to dedicate a video to you. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.